For communities to truly thrive, we must care for those among us who need it. British Columbians dedicated, so, British Columbia's dedicated social workers work hard in the most difficult circumstances, touching the lives of thousands of people. In the past year, 274 children were placed for adoption. More than 28,000 clients seen by child and youth mental health services, and more than 111,000 licensed child care spaces funded. The Ministry of Children and Family Development has begun the work of responding to the Plekis report. That work must begin with ending the culture of blame that exists for those public servants with the most difficult role. As Mr. Plekis said, if we could walk a mile in the frontline social workers' shoes, to drive five hours to a remote community only to be denied access, or attend at a home of a neighbor and have to remove their child because of violent threats, all the while fearing for their own personal safety, we might begin to understand the job. Besides cultural changes, your government is committed to maintaining the stability Mr. Plekis deemed critical, crucial, and hiring even more social workers than recommended. In the coming weeks, your government will announce more measures to further support both at-risk children and our social workers. In the Lower Mainland, there are too many sad stories, too many parents mourning children who didn't come home. Your government is taking action. The anti-gang unit has significant resources on the ground, working with Surrey and Delta Police with integrated teams and new police officers on the ground. This is progress, but we need to do more. Your government will continue to work with its federal counterparts to secure more RCMP resources and officers. 